represent Lucia, a jewel picturesquely nestled between the ocean and the Caribbean Sea. With a history as colorful as the beautiful flora and fauna to be found covering her landscape. Throughout the 17th and early 18th centuries, both England and France fought over who would take control of St. Lucia, with the island changing hands 14 times. Both countries were so enamored with her that she was soon awarded the name, the Helen of the West Indies. No trip to the Caribbean is complete without visiting St. Lucia. And there is no better way to visit St. Lucia and a little bit more on a guided tour with Holiday Adventures. We pride ourselves in bringing our clientele a quality, knowledgeable service. You will always be greeted with a friendly smile and be well taken care of. So sit back, relax and enjoy the sight as we introduce you to the Enchantment Rural Tour. Our points of embarkment on this two-hour excursion are Point Seraphim and La Place Carinage. Join us as we venture onto the Castries Market, taking all the sights and sounds of the bustling city with its colorful craft markets. The local vendors are always on hand too, offering a wide array of local seasonal fruits and vegetables. Let's turn our attention for a moment to the cathedral, also known as the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. This house of worship initially dates back to 1767. Shading the cathedral is a huge salmon tree, known to locals as the Massaf tree, thought to be about 400 years old. Find out how it got its name. Find out the history behind the Derrick Walcott Square, named after the island's famed son, who won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1992. Taking the splendor of the Central Library in all its architectural brilliance. As we leave the city and head up to Montfortune. Pause for a moment to take in the overhead view of Castries, the ships in the harbor, Point Seraphim, and so much more. In the distance, we can also see the island of Martinique. We carry on up the Mon. Let us pause once more as we view Government House, home of St. Lucia's Governor General, who represents the Queen in St. Lucia on a day-to-day -day basis. The Queen maintains direct contact with the Governor General, although she delegates executive power to the official in virtually every respect. The Sir Arthur Lewis College campus houses an A-level college and a St. Lucian wing of the University of the West Indies. Now a haven for further education, some of the institution's buildings date back to 1760, when the French moved their main fort in St. Lucia from Vigi to Montfortune because it offered them an ideal military defense position. Named after Nobel laureate Sir Arthur Lewis, the establishment prides itself with being an educational establishment of excellence. As the tour name suggests, Evident at nearly every stop is the natural beauty that the island encompasses. That is the real cashew. Get acquainted with the plants and the trees of the island. We take in cul-de-sac valley as we continue in a southeastern route. What do you know about the St. Lucia banana industry? Find out all you could ever want to know on this tour. It's a continuation. When you cut down this one, another one grows in the roots. So Learn about our home remedy. When you boil it, then you put a little bit of salt in it, and then you drink it. It makes you sweat. Our local teas, our local medicines. 
the valley is a sight to behold from over here, as the island's natural and industrial landscape intertwine to create a site so unique. The site of St. Lucia's highest point, Mount Jimmy, will simply take your breath away. The mountain's peak reaches 3,117 feet high. It is of volcanic origin and is covered by lush tropical rainfall. Another great view is that of Marigot, the charming location chosen to shoot Dr. Doolittle with Rex Harrison back in 1967. We journey even further westward, surrounded by nothing less than the natural sights and sounds of the countryside. A wave of banana trees can still be seen throughout the valley. The tour ends at Banana Plantation View in Mass Acre, known locally as Mass Quay. Mass Acre stands on a hillside overlooking Roseau, Marigot Bay and Ancillary Village. Most historians are unsure as to why the location is named Mass Acre, but legend has it that the native Indians to the land, with the help of African battalions, waged a major offensive against the French occupation around the late 1700s at this same location. And this is the point where many lives were lost. However, these days, the spot is home to a well-stocked Caribbean bar. Enjoy a cool beverage or something to eat. Purchase a locally made trinket or simply take in the sights. It's the stopping point to a perfect tour. Get to know the real St. Lucia, our people, our land, our island. What we offer is a tour like one you have never experienced. What we promise is a time you will never forget on the Enchantment Rural Tour.